everyone, Lisa here from Down to Earth Gardening. And today is the final dahlia harvest for, to bring my cut flowers inside. So I'm going to be cutting these beauties and today's video is on how to get the longest vase life out of them. Just some tips and tricks that you can do to get the most out of them. Because we love bringing our flowers inside too. We want them to last as long as possible. So it's the end of the gardening season. It's kind of bittersweet. It's been a beautiful year and I have had so much success with my dahlias this year. If you've seen my planting my tubers in uh, protection from voles video, you'll see that I finally had much success growing dahlias, protected them from those nasty little voles. I have some beautiful different styles and colors and I add to my collection every year. But this is the final harvest. So I'm going to be cutting as many as I can this morning and bringing them inside. And of course, you'll probably see some future videos with some cut dahlia bouquets. <laughs> so I'm standing in front of Bishop of Canterbury which is one of my favorites that I've grown this year. And I'm excited to bring them inside, but what I will tell you is that dahlias don't have a very long vase life. You will typically, on average, get three to seven days from them in a vase. So we're looking to extend this as much as we can. Um, but the ball type dahlias, you may get up to 10 days. So they will last a little bit longer in, in a vase. So we're cutting them now because we're getting to the point where we're seeing some cold temps at night. It's dropping down to in the 40s. I'm in zone 6A here in Northeast Connecticut. But once the frost hits, we have to lift the tubers out of the ground so right now it is mid fall so mid to late fall you should be cutting and harvesting all of your dahlias um, so let's get down to it so what you need to have on hand is your snips you can have your uh, pruners your scissors and then you want to have some buckets now all of these items should be clean so you can clean them disinfect them so snips and buckets, because you don't want to harbor any bacteria and transfer them to your dahlia stems that will cut down on the shelf life. So a tip here for your buckets, I have two, is one, you want to cut them and put them into warm to hot tap water um, right away. So that is important. They do best when you cut them and you plunge them into the warmer hot water. So have warmer hot water in your buckets. And then when you bring them inside, you can use room temperature water for your arrangements. But tip number two with the buckets is that you can put chicken wire in the tops of your buckets and that will support the stems as you're cutting them and you'll see me do it here and placing them in the buckets so that way it will not overcrowd them they don't like to be crowded and it'll support even the shorter stems because sometimes when you cut the dahlias you'll have some pretty short stems so you should be filling your buckets and putting the chicken wire right on top of your water level so i have these buckets almost halfway full here all right picking time is morning or evening i prefer morning that would be my first choice so after the dew has dried on the flowers second choice would be if i'm running around like crazy i'll come out here in the evening um, after you know if i water first that's great and then let them dry a little and then i will cut them to bring them inside so morning top choice evening cutting, second choice. So what we're looking for for harvesting is some nice open flower heads. And I'm going to let you follow me around the garden because I have a few here that I'm picking today just to give you some great examples. 
So you kind of want to inspect them. You want them as open as possible uh, because once you get them inside, they're not like a lot of other flowers. The buds are not going to open anymore. So what you're cutting is what you're getting. Now, with that said, if you want to be creative with your arrangements, you may want to go ahead and cut some buds or some flowers in different stages uh, just for some diversity in your floral arrangements. But ideally, you're looking for open flowers and you don't want any flowers that have already started to fade. So you can see this one here, the outer petals are a little bit wilted and browning. And so one way you can really tell what's going on, you can just go ahead and snip it and turn it upside down. This one is going to go in the compost, sadly. But this one's not ideal for cutting and bringing inside. So let's pick a couple that are so I can show you. So you can do the look test, the eyeball test, and look it over. You can also turn it upside down and shake it, make sure no petals fall off. That's another good sign that it's a, at a good stage to bring inside. But also, you'll be knocking off any little insects that are hidden in here. <laughs> okay. So right in my bucket. All right, so as far as where I'm snipping them, now this would be really important if I were out here deadheading them. If I were deadheading them during the summer, I would want to cut down to the first um, node or a node. And you can see the new buds here, right? And then during the summer, the more you cut, the more flowers you're going to get. But at this stage, um, it's late in the game and we're not deadheading at this point. So I want to give myself a longer stem. So I'm just going to cut down here. I like to cut on a 45 degree angle. And then my next tip is you want to remove any foliage from your dahlia. So you don't want any foliage in the water because that is going to make your water murky, more chances of bacteria and whatnot. Okay, so those are some great hot tips and now I'm going to just have you follow me around and see what I'm doing and I'm just going to go on a Dahlia picking party for myself. <laughs> Okay, I jumped over here in the garden because I really want you to see these gorgeous flowers. These are labyrinth. I just love how you can see some fuchsia pink and then you can also see some oranges and yellows in this one here. So I'm definitely going to cut a bunch of these, but I can see that some of them already started to fade. And so even this one here, you can see how the flowers are starting to wilt. So I'm gonna to try to be selective. This one here is definitely gone with this bunch, but I'm excited about bringing some of these beauties inside. So just an aside on the dahlias, you won't find a lot of insects in the petals. Um, the pollinators really have a hard time because these are doubled 
uh, double flowers and they really can't get all the pollen or nectar. So they're more drawn, drawn to open flowers. And I have some anemone style dahlias in the back here and I see a lot more activity, a lot more pollinators on those because it's easier um, for them to get the pollen and the nectar. Okay, I think I'm gonna go see what I can get from up top. Okay, so I'm just wrapping it up here, uh, bouncing around the gardens. I have a lot of dahlias this year. But this one here, I just want to show you quick. So beautiful. This is Tyrell. And I've got multiple flowers on this stem. So I can either leave it like this for my arrangement or my vase, or I can cut them apart. But I think to give myself some flexibility, I'm probably just going to leave it together here. So the last thing that I want to say is your dahlias, when you bring them inside, like I said, you can put them in room temperature water for your vases or your arrangements. And hopefully I've given you a lot of tips so you'll get the most mileage out of them. But I also do want to mention you want to keep the water clean and the dahlias do have a hollow stem. And so they take up water, not only through the vase, and I'm cutting it on an angle here, 45 degrees, so there's more surface area for them to absorb the water. But also you wanna fill your vase up because they're taking in all the water through the whole stem. So don't just give them a little bit of water at the base, make sure that you fill up your vases and check the water, switch it out, top it off. So that's it, folks. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. I love my dahlias, and I want you to be able to enjoy your gardens and your flowers as much as you possibly can. So thanks for joining me. If you like this video, please go ahead and tap like, and come on and subscribe to our channel because we have lots more gardening videos coming your way.